In this session, we are going to tackle about Slovin's formula. I will share on how to compute a sample size in a populations for you to have your respondents in a mini research. Let us define first what is Slovin's formula. Slovin's formula is used to determine the number of sample size out of the given population. So we have a given formula of Slovin's formula. So we have here N is equal to capital letter N over 1 plus capital letter N then E squared. So the small letter N that is the sample size, the capital letter N that is the population size, the given population size, and E is the given margin of error. Si margin of error kadalasan yan ay madalas po dyan ay 5% ang ginagamit. So, change lang po natin yun into 0.05, then substitute lang po natin sa ating mga given. Then, we can now have the number of sample size. Let us have an example. Example number one. The population of a big university in Bulacan is 35,000. Calculate the sample size needed by the researcher if the margin of error is 5%. So, first, let us write the formula for the sample size. So, we have N is equal to capital letter N all over 1 plus N E squared. Then, write the given. Our given here, the number of population here is 35,000. Then, your margin of error, we have 5%. So, 5% change it into decimal, which is 0 0.05. Since we have already your complete sets of given, let us now substitute the given to your given formula. So, your sample size, we have here N, is equal to, then the capital letter N, the population, which is 35,000 over 1 plus capital letter N, which is 35,000, total population, multiplied by the margin of error of 0 0.05. N. So, this one, let us simplify. So, we have here squared. We are going to simplify first the numbers with an exponent. So, we have here 35,000, then over 1 plus, just copy, 35,000, then multiply it by 0 0.05 squared. The answer here is 0 0.0025. Yeah. Then we are going to multiply na muna. So we have just copy again 35,000 over 1 plus ter, uh, 35,000 times 0 0.0025. The answer here is 87.5. Then, you are going to add. So, 35,000 again is equal to 1 plus 87.5. The answer here is 88.5. Afterwards, you are going to divide. 35,000 divided by 88.5. The answer here is... N is equals to 395.48. Since tao po ang pinag-uusapan natin sa ating um, population at saka sa sample size, so wala naman pong kalahating tao, kaya kailangan whole number ang ating maging sagot. So for you to have a whole number answer, you need to um, round off your answer into whole number. So, 395.48. So, if you are going to round off it in the whole number, so the answer here to the nearest whole number, the answer is 395 uh, ang kanyang total sample size. So, that is your answer. Is it clear? So, kung ito ay 395.8 naman ang sagot, so you need to round it up to 396. Sit there. Number 2. Find the number of vaccine recipients using 5% margin of error if there were only 85,000 population size. 
So let us have the given. Your given here is your total number of population is 85,000. Then the number of margin of error is 5% or 0 0.05. Then, your formula is N is equals to capital letter N, 1 plus N E squared. So, let us substitute now your given to your given formula. So, you have here 85,000 over 1 plus 85,000 multiplied by 0 0.05 squared. Simplify first the number with the exponent. So, this one is equal to 85,000 over 1 plus 85,000. Just copy. 0 0.05 squared is 0 0.0025. Yeah. Then, multiply this one to 85,000. So, just copy again 85,000. 85,000 over 1 plus multiply. The answer here is 212.5. Then, it is equal to, just add. So, we have 85,000 over 112.5 plus 1 is 100, uh, 213. 212.5 plus 1 pala, sorry. 0.5, yan. Then, let us divide. So, the answer here is 398.13. So, then, since tao ulit ang pinag-uusapan, you need to round off your answer. So, 398. So, round off to the nearest whole number. The answer here is 398. So, this is now your total number sample size. Is it clear? So, let us have the last example. Number 3. A researcher wants to know the average income of the families living in Barangay with 2,500 residents. Calculate the sample size of the researcher will need if a 5% margin of error is allowed. First, let us have the given again. So, for your given, so we have here 2,500 residents. Then, your, this is your N. Margin of error or E is 5% or equal to 0 0.05. Then, let us have your formula. N is equals to N over 1 plus N E squared. So, it is equal to, just substitute. So, we have 2,500 over 1 plus 2,500 multiply for the margin of error of 0 0.05 then squared. So, squared mo muna si margin of error. So, we have 2,500 over 1 plus 2,500 multiplied by 0 0.05 squared is 0 0.0025. Then, afterwards, you are going to multiply 2,500 times 0 0.0025. So, just copy 2,500 over, it is equal. 1 plus, just multiply it, so the answer here is 6.25. Then just add, 1 plus 6.25, so 2,500 over 7.25. Then just divide. The answer here is 344.83. So, round off again this one into whole to the nearest whole number. So, the answer here is 340. So, since 8 na to, plus 1 ka dito, 85. Three, uh, 345 residents. So, ito yung magiging mong sample size. Ayan. So, this is your N. Is it clear? So, that is how will you calculate the, po, uh, the sample size for of your population in your research. So, hope na intindihan po. So, salamat po sa pakikinig. Bye-bye!